Hey everyone, um, my name is Juno. I am a fourth year resident at Emory University in the ear, nose, and throat, otherwise known as otolaryngology, head and neck surgery, residency. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while. Uh, this is kind of the general advice and feedback that I give medical students or people that really reach out to me to figure out kind of tips and tricks on how to become the best medical student, the best sub-I slash externship, whatever you want to call it, um, while they're doing a rotation so that the residents love you and the attendants give you the stamp of approval that you become enticing to them at the end. Um, I want to get this out before the, or actually during the um, externship season so that hopefully it helps a few people out. Um, just a little bit of background about myself, I went to a medical school that didn't have residents to work with. Um, so I was just working one-on-one -on -one with attendings and really I didn't really have thorough advice on how to kind of conduct myself uh, as a medical student, but thankfully um, I ended up doing three externships across the country and those externship letters were the ones that um, really got me into the uh, amount of interviews that I did get and got me into my um, top program. So I want to share my experience and kind of uh, the resident perspective on medical students and um, basically kind of giving you a little bit of obvious things, a little bit of nuanced ideas on how to um, kind of avoid pitfalls. Um, so I can only talk about my own residency experience and kind of our interactions with our medical students, but I'm assuming most residencies operate kind of in the same wavelength. Um, but basically, when we have medical students rotating through, um, usually by the end of the externship season, the residents will kind of send out a group text or have a meeting about um, medical students trying to gather comments. Um, and I really just kind of want to share the positive comments that we got so you can get a taste of the commentary that we get for medical students. Um, kind of went through very old text messages, but it says like, saving names, um, blank for the win, never seen anyone work so hard, um, extremely good person, um, blank is an absolute boss, uh, great personality, competent, willing to work hard, and just plain gets it. Um, what else? Evidence of self-driven nature that can't be taught, so crucial to success in residency, most prepared, knowledgeable in the OR, these are all different people here. Um, rock star, quiet but hard worker, great technical skills, um, solid overall. And as you can see, there's just very general comments. And a lot of this, uh, as you can tell, is not really like the technical aspect of like how much they can operate or how much they can do a procedure. It's a lot of it is about the personality um, within uh, the program itself. And I understand the limitations of giving advice over video um, versus a medical student that I've known for at least a couple of days, um, just giving some advice. So I feel like I need to just do some groundwork on obvious things that you should not do as a resident, or sorry, as a medical student. Um, one, don't sleep in public areas like I I have just have cautionary tales about all of these I've seen as medical students and it will just nuke your uh, chances at being recommended for a residency, but I've seen someone sleep in the surgeon's lounge in front of all attendings. Um, don't lie about things you have done, have not done. Um, it's just not a good look and you will be found out. Um, and try not to complain about how tired you are in terms of, um, at least to a resident, you can talk to your co-externs, -ex but you just don't know if the resident you're talking to has been up for more than 24 hours versus your six hours of sleep. Um, it's just not good form. Um, and the last thing, which is a little bit more nuanced, that's hard to explain is, um, don't be annoying. That is a comment that, uh, comes out a lot for medical students, and I think that goes across with um, commentaries about being um, with a lot of 
hubris or um, just being cocky. Um, there's actually a really uh, funny article by Gomer, which is a medical satire site. Um, and I've seen it, or I, I've talked about it with um, attendings at times, but it's basically an, an article and I'll link it um, below, but an article about how a cardboard cutout of a medical student was the best medical student and received honors um, within it. Go check it out. It's uh, really funny, but it has comments like, um, stood in the corner and was first to be there and late, late to arrive. But it, it, even though it's satire, it, it can kind of give you a little taste of what we like as um, surgical residents or just residents in general. Um, or obviously take it with a grain of salt. At least in my residency, uh, we're not looking for gunners. We're just looking for personable, humble, helpful people. Um, and I understand that's really vague, um, but it's really true. Um, we want to find people that match us personality. And I understand every residency is different. You might go to a more malignant program, but match more personality with them. So at the end of the day, I really, stress to medical students like be yourself and just try not to step on any toes um that being said i can kind of just go into like the general advice about being a extern out of uh, residence or residencies um, on your sub buyer externships um one is obvious which is just try to be helpful um i think a comment that we get a lot uh, for medical students is um person is always trying to help and that is something where let's say you're in the operating room you don't want to be seen as standing in the corner I know that Gomer uh, cardboard cutout was talking about standing in the corner but um, in the operating room uh, you want to try to be doing something all the time whether it's prepping the patient or taking the bed out tucking the arms um, I really want to make a video on that um, just so People have a better idea of um, what to expect in the operating room um, but even when you're on rounds like getting supplies getting gauze um, checking numbers and just always being around for uh, the residents saying like hey is there something I can help out with um, whether it's running a prescription paper to a nurse uh, those little things uh, as long as you're aware um, and can identify pattern pattern recognition um, that will really go far. And with that, um, I think that's kind of everything I want to talk about um, for this moment right now. I don't want to make the video too long, but um, I'm planning on making a little more specific videos on um, being in the operating room, like what you can do in the operating room itself. Um, maybe my uh, experience uh, applying to ENT um, and also probably when interview season comes, make a video about um, all the dozens and dozens of interviews and weird questions like, what's your spirit animal um, that uh, I got? So um, thanks for watching. I'm hoping that if this helps a couple people, that will make me happy. Um, I'll try to answer some questions um, and reach out if you need to. Bye.